My guest Rufman from Overclocking TV, we are in Jakarta in uh, Indonesia for the MSI MOA Asia Pacific Final. We are here now with Team AU that was representing Australia, but that's actually New Zealand. So actually, how, uh, how do you guys feel about this competition? How, how was it yesterday? Um, I thoroughly enjoyed the competition personally. I thought MSI put on a fantastic event and we had great competitors uh, from the Asia Pacific region um, that competed very, very um, tightly and competitively. As you can see in the scores, they were very, very close um, and a lot of fun had by all. Uh, yeah, it was a great experience competing in MOA. Um, being I've only done a few live competitions before, uh, great event, well set up, everyone did really well. Yeah, excellent day. Um, can you state why and how did you qualify, qualify for, this, uh, for this competition? Uh, we, there was an Australian qualifier um, with uh, 3D Mark uh, Vantage in Australia. Uh, basically highest two scores. We uh, got tickets to head along. So uh, Dean, he uh, scored the highest and I came in second. Um, how was the trip to Jakarta? Uh, for me, not too bad. It's about 13 and a half hours from New Zealand. I've got to travel from Christchurch through to Singapore, then Singapore on to uh, Jakarta. Unfortunately, my plane was delayed, so I actually lost my bags on the way here. So Singapore Airlines thankfully found them and got them about six or seven hours after I arrived. So that was a bit stressful because, you know, GPU pot was in there, uh, digital multimeter, and the graphics card was all in my bag. So yeah, that was a bit of a worry, but um, it was found and it got here in the end. And did you train a lot for this uh, Asia Pacific final? Yeah, we split the hardware between us. Uh, Jono did the motherboard testing at home and I had the graphics card. So we worked as a team to split the workload and we put a lot of effort into trying to get those two things working correctly for us. Uh, how was it doing the convention? Because you guys are the pretty bad Super Pi run. Can you explain a bit more about that? Yeah, Super Pi was uh, challenging for us. In pre-testing, uh, prior to the start of the competition, uh, this was at the event, we were trying to get our B clocks as high as possible because the multi was uh, locked in at 50. Unfortunately, we pushed it too far and we actually had a BIOS fail on the first BIOS chip, which reverted to the second BIOS, which is an older version and a lot more buggy. Uh, a lot of those have been resolved, obviously, with the competition BIOS. Things like the 1 to 8 divider wasn't working correctly for us. We didn't realise this at the time and we just ended up with crashes and black screens and no posting for hours on end um, until the actual MSI guys realised what the issue were and they actually managed to rectify it by flashing the backup by us and then we could use that um, and to be a bit more competitive which was about halfway through 3D Mark 11 that that got resolved so it was a long time going nowhere. When you came here, what did you expect about this, uh, this competition? Uh, I expected it to be very tough. There's a lot of uh, great competitors coming along. You had um, Team Katana, very renowned for being great overclockers. Um, Team Indonesia usually win every time, as well as Thailand. Um, I knew the competition was going to be very tough here. So, um, as for expectations, it was just try and make the top four, really. Uh, it wasn't looking good halfway through, honestly. we. Didn't think we'd have a chance to be able to pull through in the end, um, but luckily we had a very nice graphics card and could, um, yeah, pull pull back our weight there. Okay, maybe you guys are on the same way, but which which benchmark did you prefer, to Super Pi or to the Mac 11? Um, I mean, personally, I I like Super Pi a lot. I thoroughly enjoy benching Super Pi. Um, but I mean, I enjoy both benchmarks, and I think Dean is Dean's a 3D guy, um, and he's great, and he's the one who saved our day, really. Um, so, but no, I, I do really enjoy Super Pi personally. I definitely prefer 3D Mark benching, um, and I've done a lot of a lot of work at home with the card as well as 3D Mark 11. So I was looking forward to that part of the test, for sure. Okay, can you tell us more about like the CPU speed you got for Super Pi and then the VGA uh, speed you got for the 3 Mac 11 run? The CPU speed, uh, both the 
CPUs that were issued to us that we tested uh, both had a frequency wall of approximately 5.2 gigahertz. Unfortunately, when we were trying to find the max B clock to work with a particular multi so we could actually top out the B clock and the memory timings, that's when we had the issue with the BIOS chip. So most of our benching for the day for both Super Pi and 3D Mark 11 ended up being at 5.1 gigahertz or thereabouts with the 1 to 7 divider with particularly slow memory timings. For the graphics tests, we ended up with the card at 1390 on the core and 1300 on the memory. Okay, um, did you get any troubles about that like, condensation issue? Because here it's like quite humid. Uh, we spent a lot of time making sure that our setup, particularly the graphics card, was very well insulated. We used an incredible amount of grease as well as paper towels and also used a lacquer on the card first to make sure that we didn't have that problem. And thankfully, on the graphics card side of things, uh, that wasn't an issue for us at all. We were fine. Did you prepare any special modification for the board? Like the board, the main board or the VGA? No, nothing. The, both were ex exactly stock. Uh, the motherboard was stock, same as the graphics card. All we did was change the dip switches on the back and the BIOS switch for uh, liquid nitrogen cooling and then mounted a pot and gone. What are you guessing about the other team? Which one them did impress you the most uh, at the event? Um, team Katana was sitting right next to us at the next table and to be fair, I thought they were the most impressive. I thoroughly enjoyed watching the way that they went through and started off low and worked their way through their clocks. And they were extremely professional and they're hell of a nice guys. So for me, probably Team Katana uh, were the best benches on the day and rightfully so they won the event. So no, definitely, I'd go with Team Japan. Okay, cool. And um, one last question about this, um, this event, this MOA. Yeah? Uh, did you add any mascot? A team mascot? No, actually we didn't. A lot of teams do bring mascots and bits and pieces, but no, we didn't actually have one. We well, thanks you guys for, for your time here and we see you at the World War Final in Taiwan uh, end, of, end of this year. No worries, thank you. Thanks, mate. Hey, is he losing team? <laughs>